Hey there, this is Brian Ewald, and I'm here in the uh, Wood Library at this is the Wood Library, right? They call it the Vault. Now. The Vault. Oh, I knew it had a special name. Okay, the Vault at the PRS Factory, and uh, we're here with the latest guitar of the month. And so this is the second one. This is the February guitar. And this is uh, uh, honoring the anniversary of Private Stock, right. right? Yeah, this is our 20th anniversary of Private Stock. So that first, the bass, there was there was a very limited number, right? Six of them, I believe. Yeah, six of them. So this being the February guitar of the month, there's going to be new stuff in March, and there's going to be new stuff in April, and May, and June, and July. So this guitar <laughs> is based off of a McCarty, you know, platform originally. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so obviously Ted McCarty was a, a friend and a mentor, a big influence, and this one here uh, has some some very uh, uh, significant changes and, and modifications to some of the original designs. So, uh, before we take a look at it, uh, give me give me an idea of where you were going with this particular instrument. It started from a McCarty model, a thicker double cutaway guitar. It was set up to be more comfortable to somebody who grew up playing with the knob configuration in a different way. Right. So, like a four knob, but it's so it's a double cutaway, right. but a four knob layout. Yeah, we should probably open it. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. But you've already seen this thing, right? So, it started with John Mayer showing a periscope at the back of the guitar mm -hmm. on Instagram and then periscoping the front of it. He kind of let the cat out of the bag before letting it out now. But um, he's got one hand doors. He's using it. He's using it all over his record that he's recording right now. So, the name of the guitar is a big thing. So, well, it's, a, it's called a 594. So, um, the scale length is 24.594, 24 and 19 30 seconds, which is a, an old vintage scale length. And it, it's a little teeny bit longer than our 24 and a half inch scale guitars. So that's where the name came from. You take the 24 off, it's 594, 24.594. But the thing that's interesting about about it is that we put these 5815 versions of the pickups in it that have less terms. Okay. So that's what the LT stands for. I, I've got uh, the original uh, incarnation of the 5815s and actually two guitars, mm -hmm. and I just absolutely adore them. Uh, it, coming from the world of single coils most of my life, uh, they're the first humbuckers that really I bonded with. Mm -hmm. um, and these, uh, I've had a chance to play a little bit, and, and the low turn version, tell me exactly what that does. Obviously the low turn, to me, means it sounds like it's gonna have a slightly lower output, but it's quite a bit more than that. What the, tell yeah, me. It's exactly that. It's got slightly lower output, and it's more than that. Mm -hmm. So when you pop this, what happens is only one of the coils is on. So it's exactly half the turns, and it, and it, and it, and it hums a little bit, because um, it's a single coil. Sure. Um, but. It has a very beautiful tone without that clank on top that right. you get out of a strap pickup. So we're doing a lot of little different versions of 5815s, and this is the beginning of it for us. I forgot to mention something. We changed the neck shape a little bit. This is now called a pattern vintage, so it's an asymmetrical neck shape. Um, it has a little bit different curve off down here and up here than our regular necks. So okay, is it thinner? thinner no, no, it's not thinner. It feels different down here, it feels different up here if you go up high. So, All right. Yeah, and it's a little teeny bit different than our regular neck shape, and we are really happy about it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, tell me tell me a, a bit what's going on with the bridge. Obviously, visually, that you can see uh, uh, it's, it's not the typical material. No, it's going to patina, uh, change color. Mm -hmm. It's made of aluminum bronze, um, c copper and aluminum mixed. And um, we've been experimenting with a whole bunch of different materials, and this is one of the ones that sounds really good. And so that's what's on these private stock, these 26 guitars. It has these aluminum bronze two-piece bridges with brass saddles. I mean, 26 of these made in private stock. The first ones came off the line the other day. I thought they sounded magic. I was just ecstatic.